So question about ECMO, one or two questions are there about ECMO. Which of the following statements about venovenous ECMO is true? It directly supports cardiac output. Recirculation is minimized by increasing pump flow. Sweep gas flow controls the PaO2. Or cannula positioning determines oxygen efficiency. So the correct answer is cannula positioning determines oxygen efficiency. So once the cannula are too close, what we call as recirculation is happening. So what happens? There is one can we have discussed about ECMO in previous classes. So it is a veno venous ECMO. That means we drain the blood out of one vein, which is usually the femoral vein. We put a cannula in the femoral vein, and from that we drain the blood. The blood goes to the pump and then the oxygenator. And the oxygenator acts like artificial lung. It adds oxygen and removes the carbon dioxide, and then it goes to the internal jugular vein through which the blood is given back to the patient. And that is why it called it as VV ECMO, so femoral jugular. And from femoral is a drainage cannula and return is from the jugular. So we call it as femoral jugular venovenous ECMO. So what happens when these both cannulas are very close together? It decreases the efficiency and what we call as recirculation is there. So the blood that is returned from return cannula, which is the jugular one, is close to the cannula from femoral and it goes into the femoral cannula and not into the systemic circulation. So the whole idea of VV ECMO to improve the oxygenation is lost because the blood is going back to the drainage cannula. And this is the oxygenated blood coming back from the ECMO. This leads to persistent hypoxemia and potentially end organ damage. That is a risk. So it directly reduces the efficiency of VV ECMO because less oxygenated blood is delivered to the body. So this happens because the close proximity of the drainage and the return cannulas, especially in certain configurations, as I told you, femoral jugular setup. Then high ECMO flow rates can worsen circulation, and especially low cardiac output increase the chance of drawn blood being oxygenated blood. So low cardiac output is probably not in our hands, but excessive flow and cannula position we can manipulate and correct it. So as I told you, VV ECMO provides gas exchange only. It only has a function of artificial lung, but does not support cardiac output for which we have VA ECMO. And close proximity of the cannulas increases recirculation, reducing oxygen delivery. We are talking about sweep gas. Sweep gas rate primarily regulates the PaCO2 and not the PaO2. So these are important things. Optimal position of the cannula should be done under ultrasound or fluoroscopy to ensure adequate systemic oxygenation.